Oh, man. Hey y'all, what are you doing? Hey everyone. Who wants to see my other drawings? We got my fish. There's my fish. Who likes my fish? It's my fish and my chameleon. My fly catcher. My fly catcher, please follow, please subscribe, please like, please share. Get those likes up. Start smashing that button, everyone. Leave a comment. Oh my God. It's a fucking busy one, this one. It's kind of cool. I like it. I like this better rear end. Kind of sucks this part of the drawing because you can't see it properly. Yeah, anyway. Gotta get me crab in. There's me crab. There's me butt lunch. He's not gonna take any of that bullshit. He's gonna put up a fight. So come here. Tell me I'm gonna be a butt lunch. None of that going on. See that? He's got a fighting chance. Don't want his nippers anywhere near you. Do you? No. <laughs> Who else is there? Anyone else? Gonna be his eyes. One, two. He's going fuck. His other claw. Oh yeah. They usually have a big claw on one side, don't they? Where is everyone tonight?
freaking useless numbers. Useless. TikTok have got to punish me because I swear too much. That's what they got to do. There we go. Um, one, two, there's one, two. I need a third one here. The third one can come around here. This is butt lunch. You won't be able to see that one. And the fourth one's gonna be over here. Coming back around, hang on. Dogs and dogs, ask me what am I drawing? Drawing an octop octopus butt, butt lunch. He's having lunch out of his butt. I uh, just drew a fish. Did that one a while back. And then, that's me fish poo drawing. And there's me uh, fly catcher. Thanks dogs and dogs. Dogs and dogs just said I've got insane talent. Octo butt lunch. You got that right, and a little crab's putting up a fight. He's not going to be fucking an octo butt lunch. <laughs> yeah. That's it. So that's how they're going to turn out. His octo butt lunch is going to turn out like him. There we go. Let's get those likes up, people. Bob, sir, let's get some follows and some likes. It'll be what the fans want. Leave a comment. Like and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, follow me. Dogs and dogs. If you want to see it finished. And Bob, sir. Bob's tough. Sorry. I'm getting some fans, man. I'm getting some more fans in my fan club. Oh, yeah, it's what the fans want. Fans want more fans. It's not what I want. <laughs> Mason Edwards. There we go. Another follower. There we go. We're doing it. Head off me. That was going to come up like that. And then... I don't know how to do this one. You can come back around while you're doing that. There we go. I know you can't quite see this, but we're getting there. He's getting that tentacle around here for a bit of surprise action. There we go. Take that. Gonna have him. Don't want to get bitten though. Don't want to get nipped on the arsehole. Oh, an octo crab. <laughs> there we go. I did a welcome with web page. Oh, thank you, Mama Bear.
All right, I think I've got this sussed now. All right, now this has to be front and center. Gonna do like a big friggin' that and that. Let's go that way. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Uh, I had to reposition all these tentacles. Oh, your pride. All right. I think, I think we've got this one sussed out. Yes, the filtered it. Filtered what? What'd they filter, Mama Bear? Ah. Filtered a comment, because I swear too much. <clears throat> got a bad habit of dropping all my pencils and breaking shit. Right. That was me eraser, so that's a good thing. That can be dropped. Now, I have to get, I have to get the old, the old 6B out. 6B, we'll get it out to a 12B. What do you reckon, people? Go 6 to 12, we'll get 8s and 7s in there, it's all right. Don't panic. Get the eights and sevens in there too. All right? Just for a little bit more contrast. That's what the fans want. I heard them cheering. There's me eight. See? Got to sharpen them. See? Got action stations nearly. We're like on a countdown for a ship. A rocket ship. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, bang, see? What a countdown. That's this little breather tube. Back to well. All right, now I have to to do with it long. This is going to be so detailed, this thing. All oh, their suction cups, man. Wow. I think I've underestimated this. I think I haven't quoted this one properly. Man, all the little suction caps. Oh. Man, I don't want to do all these suction caps. Oh. He wants to come over and draw a heap of friggin' round things. Oh man, are you serious? Look, I'll start with the eye. We'll get the eye in. The eye is very important. Get this little breather going. All right. Gotta get the eye in, people. Got little uh, octopus eyes. Where's the light coming from? I've gotta do the light source there, don't I? I guess. You gotta figure out your light source, people. You can't just, you know. Where's me friggin' eraser gone there? I oh, know, I did scales, I know. Eliminate. Um. I 
can't do that. Like that. There it is there. Got to get it right, otherwise it's not worth doing. There we go. Got the octo, got the octo um, pupils. There we go. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Hey, what do you reckon? Leave a comment. Subscribe and like. Follow. Oh my God, stop it. Now, should that, mm, hang on, I'm gonna have to do this pupil somewhere else, I think. You have to be looking down, isn't it? Finally. I mean, I can always put it back there. No, that doesn't work. Still flashing it out, that's all right. It's gonna drop it a bit. Empty are the eyes of everyone. No. Needs to be where it was. It's all right. We'll get there. There it is. You don't know unless you try. These guys have got mad friggin' eyes, don't they? Pretty weird how friggin' like like those crab creatures and shit have like the maddest eyes. There's one of those friggin' he's like a little what are they? Like a little crustacean thing. He's got the best fucking eyes on the planet. Sees in like ultraviolet and shit and X ray or something. Pretty weird. They see a Bigger spectrum than us, put it that way. Oh yeah, see I'm educating the masses, my fan club. If you could uh, just do some research, just pull up another tab on your computer. All right. Look up little crustacean with mad friggin' vision. And you'll educate yourself, see? That's a sensei art master Matt teaching there. Number 70. 76, there we go. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to get this in like a bastard. Come on, I. Can't have that there. It's all smudgy. Can't have smudgy bits on your friggin' reflections, Matt. Come on, chop chop. Okay, 
for you. There we go. There we go. We're getting there. Belinda Ware, thank you for the follow. Drawing an octopus, butt lunch. Oh yeah. These guys have got some mad skin too. Well, I think this is gonna be the most detailed or complex drawing I've kind of done. I have to get this right too. Cause if I Get this right, it'll look fucking sick, man. It'll look sick as. I almost rival my fish. Your little fish. He wants to see my fish. I just gotta do a little advert. There's my fish. Little fish poo man. He's looking pretty cool. A little train setter. There we go. And there's my chameleon. It's me uh, fly catcher. Oh yeah. What was that? The eraser. Ah. Yes. Making old man noises. Ah. Can't bend over properly. Oh, what's that cord on? Ah. Right. It's on the other side. Okay. Hello, income twelve. Vegemite kid is on deck. Get out, Vegemite kid. See me fish poo. Ink man, income number twelve. There's me fish poo. You can go to my website and buy a t-shirt and be a fan. There it is. That black art. What's going on, Vegemite kid? Did you just slather one up this morning? Nice big double decker sandwich, man. Put 90% butter, 10% Vegemite. And then do it again. Real double decker. Get that going. Nice fresh bread. And just chomp into it. Oh, yeah. What are you doing, Rio? Rio's chewing on his cage. Rio, what are you doing, Dingaling? Oh, guess what Rio did? He's never ever done this before. He's not a water bird. He just doesn't like the water too much. Like he does partially go in it if it's that deep in the sink. You have a little flutter around, but he actually, I could see him like I was having a shower. And then he was like fucking squawking and going mad around the like the glass down the bottom. I opened the door up, said, "Look, you want to come in?" 
And he was kind of just going, oh, oh, oh. It's like scaring him like the rush of the water. And so I turned it down. Like eventually I turned it, like I didn't, couldn't figure this out for about five minutes. And I turned it down so it was just a little trickle. Hello, Vegemite kid. Thanks for the heart. And he walked into the shower by himself and had a little flutter around <laughs> under the shower. <laughs> He's never, ever done that. So, yeah. I wish you weren't so beautiful. That's so cute. Yes. Um, yeah. So I might have to do that a bit more often. I'll just let it trickle down. Just a little. See if he goes in himself. Because, yeah, I mean, they really, well, from what I know, what you read on the internet, birds really like the water. But not dingling here. He'd rather live in the desert, I think. Give me twelve out now. I know I got banned from TikTok because I was singing lyrics. Hate speech. <laughs> like my heavy metal music has a few heavy friggin' lyrics in there. So I'm singing away. Turned around and I got done for hate speech. I was like, what the hell did I say? I was like, man, I was singing a song. Yeah, I've got to be careful about what I sing, too. You're in a dictatorship when you're on social media. Yeah. They call it community standards, but mm, we all know that it's not that. <laughs> Flat battery. How you going, mate? No, I was singing something else. The most obedient slave doesn't know that he's a slave. I, I got done for see you in the NT last time, and yes, I got to like I, I don't know I'm doing it. That's the thing. I reckon I've got an altar that's a swear bear, not a care bear, but a swear bear. After this one, I'm doing flying shit. After this run. Flat Battery says he's good, thanks. And how have I been? I've been kicked off friggin' TikTok. I got back last night, I think. And now I'm here. Was it last night or not before? I don't know. Um, yeah. Just gotta learn. Watch, watch me F's and C's. And watch what I sing. Watch what I sing. 
Blame it on an altar, I know. I can get away with that. <laughs> I have a feeling there is like, there's, I reckon there's another one merging somewhere. I'm not trying to joke either. There's one that's been eluding me for the last maybe two months and I get in a state. I get in this like, it's like a hyperactive state. It's really weird. And then I kind of catch myself and said, that's not me. I was like, oh, hang on, something's happening here. Um, I'm like, oh, is that an altar? <clears throat> and I'm like, hmm. It doesn't feel like the ones that I know, put it that way. And it's kind of like a clue that there's another one coming through. Um, yeah. I had, uh, I think it was, I think it was Claire, fucking Claire that wrote the book. She took about six months to come out. Like, Jord was there, and it was with Jord. But man, there's another one wanting to come through, but I just don't know, like, I couldn't put my finger on it. And then one day she come through, and then... Two days after that, Shadow Girl come through as well. So I had two of them kind of gone bang, bang. That was really hard. Yeah, I don't name them. I It's like you're having a conversation with a different, like a person in front of you. I didn't know how to go about it. I'm like, oh man, like there's a little girl. Like when I first kind of, it started happening. I mean, it's kind of been happening all my life, but I just didn't know what was happening. And then when your psych goes, well, this is what is happening, he coaches you through it. And he said, well, have you asked them their names? I was like, no. Well, fucking, as if you can do that. And sure enough, you ask them their names, say, okay, who are you? What's your name? And then you ask them how old they are too. That was, I got that bit a little bit later on. And you know if they're male or female because of their energy and their vision, well, you can see them anyway. And it's like, well, who the hell are you? And they, it's like, that's when you have an out-of-body experiences and you're watching yourself talk to a friggin' altar and you're going, fuck, what's going on? That's why you're doing friggin' mad balls tripping things. You're watching yourself having a conversation with your fucking altar. It's like, oh. And you see it, like you see it happening. And it's like, oh, it's really weird. So yeah, that's, um... Because I didn't know, I just knew that Sarah was Sarah. I was like, okay, you're Sarah. And then you kind of start evolving. And I didn't, like Vampire Man came out first. That's how I got diagnosed through Vampire Man and Sarah. Vampire man would lose time in the shower. And I'd, cu I'd come back with the, like, I must have been screaming in there. Come back with a hoarse throat and the, the friggin' water was running cold. That's how, I, how long I was in the shower for. And I couldn't really speak. I was like, man, what the fuck's going on? This is fucking next level shit. That's what I said to me, psych. I said, man, I don't know what's going on. I'm losing time. I don't know what is going on. Like, I, I'm in the shower and it's, I come back and it's running cold. And Vampire Man, uh, mirrors. I look into a mirror and literally within about five, five to ten seconds, I was gone. I just stare into the mirror and then I don't know how long I was there for. I was like, man, I was there for two hours looking into a mirror and it felt like literally 20 seconds. I was like, Phew. that's that's what kind of was scaring me. I was like, what is going on? I, like, surely I can't, this can't be happening. I'm staring into a mirror for two hours or whatever and it feels like 20 seconds. I'm like, oh. 
Yeah, they they got their own names, but so vampire man, I didn't know his name, and I just said, "Oh, he's a fucking vampire." So it was just vampire man. But then as things progressed, um, I had another alter emerge, who's a green man. So if you, you got to look up the green man phenomenon. They're like elves and um, like Jack and the Beanstalk and um, what else? Um, like, uh, what's his name? Fucking Robin Hood. That lineage of person. So, and his name was Shayanvia. He was 19 years old. And then Shayanvia was like, oh. I started like going down the rabbit hole with him. And he actually turned into the vampire man. His, so my altar turned into a vampire man who become another altar. I was like, does that fucking work? <laughs> it fucking does. It's really weird. But then, and then you got your past lives. See, I've interacted with your past lives too. Past lives are different too. Past lives you can kind of... Past lives teach you stuff. Not that your altars don't either, but past lives kind of... You can walk alongside them a lot more. And they show you shit. Whereas altars, I don't, like, I'll just... Altars are using my body. And I come back going, okay, what's going on? Today, upon this hill. Sorry, I'm singing Slipknot. Mystical. Yeah, I never named any of my altars. So, yeah. And then, like... Because it was just Sarah. I was like, okay, well, just Sarah. Then it evolves and then it becomes Sarah Scarleton. So she, she had a surname as well, Scarleton. I'm like, all right. Um, Claire is Claire Hastings. Uh, Shadow Girl doesn't want me to tell me her name. I've asked her that. And she goes, no, nah, she likes Shadow Girl. So she just want to be called Shadow Girl. Um, who else? Hartalia and Charlie. I don't know their last names. I know their age though. Shayanvia never had a last name because he lived like 300 AD. It was kind of not a thing back then. Because you know how back in the day your, your surname was like your trade, like carpenter or butcher whatever smith blacksmith that's where smith come from blacksmith yeah but they didn't want to be dark they just wanted to be the lighting smith a little smithy dude i'm drawing an octo octopus and so like jones and that came from john the Johns. John was the first name. And then it was like, oh, the Johns. Like, and then it was Johnses and Joneses. So I was a Jonas, so I know that story. Um, yeah. How are we looking here? Doing all right? Now, yeah, light source is that way, all right? I'm not too sure. Well, they must have. I, get, I don't know, you were just a smith. You went to the smith to get your friggin' iron bent up. Went to the smith's shop, I guess. Just go down and see the smith, because he'll bend up your friggin' shoe horses. I mean, your horseshoes. (laughs) 
Hello, Bianc Fasco. I meant typo. What do you mean? Hang on, what's going? Very creative. Okay. You like my You want to see my fish? Bianc? Boink. There's my fish. Done a big poo. And. Oh. There's me chameleon. That's me flycatcher. That is full awesomeness. That's fully sick, man. So now I'm drawing an octo butt lunch. Yeah, my psych's awesome. My psych has saved my life on more than one occasion, put it that way. And that's through him just doing his job like a, a psych should. Most psychs are there for the prestige and the money and to live in a nice suburb and drive a nice car and have an, an Amani suit or a, you know, a nice gauchy dress depending if you're male or female or whatever. Yes, I live in the eastern suburbs, darling. A little bit more aristocratic than you. I'm a little bit of class above. But my psych is not like that. He's the most, most genuine person you've ever met. And he actually gives a shit about his patients. Yoink. Oh, okay, you play music. I make my own instruments. Boink. Fasco. I make guitars and drum kits. You Check out my profile here. I've been making heaps of guitars. What, should, what am I going to do when he retires? I don't know. I'm going to have to... I mean, I'm guessing he's about 55. So he's still got another 10 odd years left. You've made a baritone guitar. Ooh, Bjorn's made a baritone guitar. I think I might do one of them. Yeah. I like the long scale. I got a um I use the flamenco scale. So you get the deep tones. Well then I'll be teaching I'll, I'll probably go to a different psych when he retires, and I'll be teaching that psych how to fucking do their job. Be like, no, no, ha hang on, let's just back the truck up here. You don't fucking preach to me about your friggin', you know, ethics and fucking bloody day aristocratic shit. You actually treat your patient. There we go. So I was teaching the teachers at trade school how to use the airbrush. When I was at the trade school, when I was a young whippersnapper, these guys were in their 60s. I just picked one up and six months later I was banging out freaking paintings. They were like, how'd you get so good so quick? I said, what? Watch this. Come here. Sit you down like little students and watch this. This is how you fucking do it. And I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> yes, that was me on Campbell, autodidactic, Bjork, Fasco. That's me. Yes, you can go to my YouTube channel, which is linked to my profile here. You can like and subscribe, leave a comment, you can follow me here. can revisit those episodes. Thanks, Bjoink. Did two episodes with Campbell. He's a cool dude. And um, I think he's just gotten back from America. He did a bit of a trip over to, where is he, in Florida, I think. I think he went to Texas too, but yeah. Good on him.
trust you. Billy's going to have a look at my YouTube later. I po I'm starting to post these up too, my TikTok lives. So I'm, I just posted up a Shadow Girl one. So the drawing of Shadow Girl, I've just been posting up the um, TikTok lives on YouTube. Because I can't be bothered editing. Man, the editing just takes, for like an hour of footage, it takes like easily half a day to edit. I just don't have that kind of time it's like oh man you post your music up on youtube bjoink well i'm bjoink i do too you gotta check out my band, they're Skeleton. That's my band, see? Selfish, no, shameless promotion there. Shameless. Okay, Skeleton, check them out. Scar-le-ton. Oh yeah, it's a fan wanting thing. You'll see all my guitars and drum kits there. Uh, not not on lives I don't I, you can I usually do drawings and my main thing is drawings at this time of night but then every now and again you like I might even do it tomorrow I might even do a live of me with like building a guitar but if you go to my um, go to my profile here I'm doing a, like a little mini series like I got I'm up to part 22 on a guitar build so there's 22 parts. On TikTok, go to my TikTok account, everyone on YouTube. Actually, I've been posting them up as shorts on my um, YouTube account. So yeah, go to me wherever, wherever you're at, TikTok or YouTube. Um, go to the guitar build. You watch, watch me make an a meat axe. But yeah, you can go to my, um, just go here, Bjoink, on TikTok. I do little, like, just play like a 30-second riff just to keep the friggin' fans happy, you know. You can't bloody disappoint the fans, you know. They start crying. They send me um, letters saying how, how much they miss me. So can you please play another riff, do another drawing? You're so fully sick, Matt. You're the fully sickest artist I've ever seen. Oh my God. So I have to kind of, you know, keep the fans happy. Oh yeah, I'm on Matt Black. Was it Matt Black Art 1? I think he's more interested in music, not me artwork. Can't find my egg. So I'm a Vegemite said, I can't find your egg. Can you find the pic so my niece can see it? Okay. The egg's on my, um, it'd be in, uh, I think it's Various, on my website. Various, I think. 
Where are we? Where's my website? Shopping gallery. Yeah, various. So you go to prints, airbrush, various. So I reckon it's on that one. There it is. Oh, there's a painting of some ladies. <laughs> I'm gonna get kicked off a of TikTok, aren't I? Nudity. I didn't mean to do that TikTok. And it's a nude, it's a nude painting. It's not like an, uh, yeah, anyway. So go on to various. There it is. Bang. Anybody else want to buy an egg? There we go. <laughs> oh man. Rio just did a turd. Just did a poo. And I stepped in it. <sighs> Hang on. I'm going to have to get... Got a napkin here. Oh man. Stepping in bird turns. Oh, thanks, Rio. Don't, Rio, you little fucker. He attacks. He freaking attacks. Um, when you gotta clean up his turds, he attacks you. So don't do that. I marked me territory. I took a massive shit there. That means that's the east wing of my territory. Don't dare wipe that up, otherwise I won't know where me east wing ends and starts. <laughs> oh, thanks, Bjoink. He just said he had a look at my guitars. Wow, I wasn't expecting to see the beauties I just looked at. Awesome. Yeah, she loves it, my egg. I'm a Vegemite kid said that her niece loved egg, her, my egg. No, I'm um, in SA. Bjoink, not in WA. Hello, dumb. I'm dumb. I'm good, how are you, dumb? It's good luck when a bird shits on you. So I kind of did it the other way. I did it, you know, I stepped in shit, bird shit. So, you know, is that still good luck? Or do they have to be flying past you and just cop you through in the forehead? Because that's kind of, you know, it's pretty cool odds of getting hit in the forehead with a friggin' bird turd. I'm drawing an octopus butt lunch. She's impressed with all my stuff. Okay, cool. South Oz, yep. You got some mates in South Oz? I got a heap of mates in South Oz. There's me fish. Taking a big poo, dumb. So that's how me octopus is gonna look like. And then, ah. There's me flycatcher. A Polar Barbie. Yes, you're going to have to buy a t-shirt. A ladies t-shirt by Polar Barbie. You can be a trendsetter. Go around strutting around. All your friends. Go and look at me. Wearing a fish pool on me t-shirt. Look at that guy. <laughs> Alright, see ya Vegemite kid. No, he's going to have a butt lunch. He, there's a little crab there. It's called a butt lunch. Because they eat out of their bum holes. 
and then they poo out of their bum holes. It's called Octo Octo Butt Lunch. This one, <laughs> but old crab man, old crab's giving up a fight. He's he's putting up a fight. He's not going to be a butt lunch. Too easy. See. So we're getting there. Going, I'm gonna give you a nip if you come any closer. <laughs> there we go, eh? So you can get an octo butt lunch on your t-shirt soon. But make sure you get your fish poo first. <laughs> it's funny, yes. You gotta have fun. You gotta have fun when you, you know in the zone. <laughs> what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing now. Huh. I was drawing this part. That's right. That's right, bloody I stepped in fish poo, I mean I stepped in bloody Rio's poo. You want them all, go buy Polar Barbie, go to my website, there it is up there. Go to shop and gallery. I haven't put, um, I actually haven't put um, my chameleon up there. So you go to shop and gallery, hang on there it is. And then you got all these things. So this is actually the eyeball series. See, it's the top one there, eyeball series. So that's because I'm doing like big eyeballs on them. See the fish with the eyeballs? I should do it the poo series maybe, I don't know. Eyeball series. But then if you want a t-shirt, go to women's t-shirts. Ah, oh, come on. Go to women's t-shirts, women's. And you'll be able to find one there. Find a fish poo t-shirt. And you, my friend, will be a friggin' trendsetter from friggin', you know. Here we go. Here it is. XD the poo series. There we go. There it is. Fish poo. Oh, bit out of focus. There we go. All right. Go there. And become a trendsetter amongst all your friends. Well, there's only one way you can wear that, and it's if you buy one. Dumb. So, being active fan you'll be supporting an artist with disabilities mate oh you going yeah. oh. going to my site to buy a t-shirt huh i doubt it how you doing real Big Monkey, hello Big Monkey. Long time no see, yes. I got kicked off TikTok because I swear too much. They call it hate speech. I'm just spitting truths though. They don't like me educating the masses about, you know, world events. Can't do that on friggin' social media either.
They should make a, an Aussie. They should make an Aussie like um, platform like this because we've got different kind of friggin' our swear words mean mean endearing things a lot of the time. If you call your mate a CU in the NT, then you know you're doing pretty good. But if you say that anywhere else on the bloody planet. Deemed offensive, man. It's not offensive. Term of endearment. That's what it is. What's airbrush drawing? There's airbrush painting. Airbrush. So you got a little, well, it's, it's about this big. It's about the size, well, yeah, it's about that big. Go, it's like a, a spray gun as big as a pen. And you can paint with it. You have to look it up. Gotta go. I'm bad's gotta go. Yeah, what's the time? Might have to get going soon too. Give this one a pat and a cuddle. Yeah. Alright, bye bye everyone.